Halloween decorations such as these may frighten some people, but this fall, Halloween retailers are spooked by the projections of declining sales. The National Retail Federation reported that 9 out of 10 people will spend less this Halloween season and that the average person will spend about 6% less for the spooktacular day of fun. That said, Halloween spending is still expected to exceed $6 billion, with costumes and treats alone expected to surpass $4.5 billion. Costumes aren't the only thing people are looking for this Halloween season. Fabrics and props like this devil's pitchfork, are being pursued and sought after by people who are planning to make their own costume. In fact, the National Retail Federation said that 18% of people will be making their own costume this year. Even with more people making their costumes, Halloween stores are taking advantage of the situation. It does help us out because we can, you know, get in a lot of accessories and harder to find things that people can piece together on their own, rather than just relying on the packaged costumes that we sell. Despite the poor national forecast for Halloween, Kelty feels differently about the situation in Boston. I think it'll be up in Boston just because of the storms that we've had the last two years that have been right around Halloween. While Halloween sales projections are expected to be down, there's no doubt about it that people this Halloween season will still be going out there and having a great time. In fact, I've already decided my costume. I'm going to go out as Walter White from Breaking Bad. For Boston University News Services, this is Andre Kachaturian.